it's sold with Android 5.1. And I can buy this, how, how expensive is this? It's 525 euros. Yeah. And then what, what specifications do I get for that? Uh, so it's, um, in terms of tech specs, it's uh, Snapdragon uh, uh, 801. Uh -huh. uh, it's uh, 8 megapixel camera, uh, Android 5.1 software. Um, what else? It's um, a Gorilla Glass uh, 3. Yeah. Um, five. Uh, uh, how do you call it? And you can swap out bits of this, so you can effectively take it apart, can you? Yeah, exactly. So I can show you. Uh, basically. So that one's even more transparent, isn't it? That one. Yeah. So that's. Uh, the protective case, which is already a part of the phone. Yeah. So um, you have like for usual smartphones, you know, you you can buy like a very slim, thick, uh, thin uh, smartphone, uh, uh -huh. uh, which looks very nice. But then, if you need to put it in a protective case over it, made of rubber, then yeah, it hides <laughs> you, it. Actually, it, it does hide yeah. it. So, uh, here, protective case is already part of the phone, so you don't need a new one. And uh, yeah, you can have different options in terms of colors and transparency. Um, yeah, so here it's uh, dual SIM, so you can use two SIM cards. Like I use one for private stuff and for work, for example. Yeah. Or for traveling, it's also quite handy. So I noticed that little like yours to open, yours to keep. On yeah. there. that's quite cool. Yeah. And you can see everything. I presume this is the antenna or something, or you know, it's it's all out there. It's all on display. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, the slot for uh, extending your memory, if you uh -huh. wish. Um, and then the battery is removable and replaceable. Yeah. Uh, and then the component that breaks the most in the phone, that is screen yes always a screen many many people know the pain of uh, yeah. <laughs> cracking the screen and then um, knowing how difficult it is to repair it or how much it costs yeah. etc so uh, if that happens with Fairphone 2 you just need to unclip those two clips that holds it in place yes and then you just slide it off and here you go wow. That's a fair chunk of... Is it, oh, crikey, no, it's not... I thought that was most of the phone, but that is literally just the screen. That's literally, yeah, the separate module. So you could buy a new screen on our website and then you replace it and you don't lose any other functionality because it's a completely separate module. Do you think in future you would have the opportunity to maybe increase your screen resolution, get a higher resolution screen and put that on? onto your existing phone maybe? You know, upgrade um, your phone? This could be something what we would explore. So in general, uh, we do plan to uh, introduce uh, incremental upgrades into the phone yeah. to make it um, stay relevant for a longer time in the market. So the next uh, thing we are going to look at is uh, refreshing the camera because it's the most utilized feature yeah. of the phone. And uh, so... Uh, would imagine in the sometime uh, that we would sell have one too with a, um, yeah, a better camera. So I can see there's this little symbols showing where the camera is and the headphones. Uh, exactly. Are, are they removable too if, I yes. have, if you've got the tools I guess? Yes. So you have uh, the top module that has um, headset jack for example in it, uh, the front camera, flash, uh, etc. Then there is a camera module where you could replace your camera. And then this is the bottom module where you have vibrating mechanism, speaker, uh, USB port. So um, uh, all most commonly broken components uh, can be easily repaired by mm. the user themselves. And that was the goal to really make it easy to open, easy to repair yeah. for users themselves. So I have a screwdriver here if you want to try Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> give it a shot. Could you possibly show me that just uh, if you've... Right. So, unscrew the camera module. Does it come with a screwdriver, the phone? Um, no, but it's um, all these screws are normal screws. Normal screws you can yeah. just buy the typical screwdriver in any shop and 
or you have it at home, many people have it at home, so there is no need to ship it with a spoon fan. So what market are you guys targeting here, you know, the, the sort of... Um... Um, yeah, so uh, in general, um, we started three years ago um, as a social enterprise with the main goal to create positive change in the supply chain of the phone. Mm -hmm. um, so um, it's still uh, um, our main goal is, is uh, you know, creating more uh, fairer supply chain and building this movement for fairer electronics. Yeah. So um, in this sense, uh, on the one hand, we um, uh, want to show that there is a demand for more ethical, for more long-lasting, repairable products. Um, uh, and um, we notice that our community in this sense is um, it consists of different groups of people. There are ethical consumers, for example, for whom mm. it's uh, really important the aspect uh, that we um, work to source more responsibly uh, the materials for the phone, that we uh, um, work towards better working conditions in the factories um, in China, for example. And then there is another part of the community that are more like techies who like the fact that it's open hardware and also open source software. Do you, do you think you'll be going for the um, emerging markets, sort of uh, places like that, where phones are, you know, cheaper, but um, you know, to, to be able to replace them, um, and to fix them yourself is maybe a good thing. I mean, it could be the possibility. So far, we are selling only in Europe. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, what what could be the next market? Uh, we would need to do more market research on that. And that's the camera module completely yes. come out. So you have to be, you know, a little bit careful about this. Don't do it in a dusty environment, obviously, somewhere where uh, it could uh, well, you know, get dusty. But the, the contacts are all fairly simple. Yeah, fairly I mean, we are doing it right now, right, with the phone. And uh, um, I can ensure you that when we put it together, <laughs> it will work fine again. So now it's really made... Um, I mean, there are certain... There are different levels of repairs, right? To just replace this module if you don't really need any like super secure environment or that was the goal to make this trip uh, repairs easier and kind of less fragile so yeah, that yeah. you don't have the risk to harm your phone. And then but of course if you would need some more like um, repairs on the transceiver or motherboards, that's another layer and um, then uh, you would probably uh, need help from the repair center, etc. But it's still um, on that layer. It's still the repairs are made easier with, uh, with the modular design. Oh yeah, absolutely.